It's Grandma's Buffet with David and Greg. That's us, David. <laughs> Together again, buddy. We're back again. We're up here to upset the neighborhood again. No. Guys, we got some great collectible items for you again today. Um, uh, as you'll see, the first one here, we're going to get into some kind of military and World War II stuff. Yeah, a lot of history, David. A lot of history in this and, uh, and also some just neat little things today. In our second show, we've got uh, men hanging around. we got some real nice belt buckles. A bunch of them, David. A little bit of everything. Right. But if we're going to get started today, guys. We've got five nice items, and we're going to start out here with this brass torch, blow torch. Y'all probably seen these somewhere around here, but back in the early days, they were used by the Forest Service, That's and fine, they were actually used by the military to, you know, to heat up items and uh, what we call unfreezing pipes That's and fine. things. Well, David, North but, Carolina's ties, we had the old tobacco barns. People would like their I've flus seen with them, that. I've we were seen them earlier. For that. Oh yeah. But the only thing I up. don't like about this thing is it's gasoline power. Yeah, a little bit of danger involved. A little involved, bit of David. danger involved. Back then, they didn't have the uh, OSHA guys running around behind them all the all time. Right. But let's get a camera two shot because yeah. it is it is very nice. That is Give nice you a little thing. background on it, G. Um, what was the name of that company? Uh, Clayton and Lambert. Clayton and Lambert, yeah. David. And we've actually got two yeah. guys there, Mr. Nelson J. Clayton and Mr. Joshua Lambert. Uh, right. I, I got together at, and made this company. I looked that thing up on eBay earlier, and they're selling There's them the for point. around $150 average. That's right. Some of them were more, some of them were less. Well, David, the old valve uh, works, the pump works. Right. I mean, we hadn't used it and tested it, but it's more of a, a looker, David, I'd say. Nice wood handle, $69.95, 50 is our item number. But, David, just a nice item. Nice item. They yeah. start to give you... Background on Clayton and Lambert. Now, they while, started David. back in uh, 1888. That was that back correct? in your day. Yeah, back before I was born almost. And they made fire pots and torches. And the torches and fire pots were used a lot by the fire service, the uh, forestry service. As you know, the fire pots are these things you go around that look like they've got a little wick on them and you can actually pour the fire out and start ground fires. Right. Called a drip. Right. Drip can, drip mm -hmm. pot. But uh, during World War One, these guys they had to slow down on that a little bit, and they started uh, they started making things for the military. They made some time uh, time fuses for the military. They That's also right. they made some truck bodies. But guys, nice item, all brass. Price is right, sixty nine ninety five. Like I said, check eBay. They're one hundred twenty five to one hundred fifty dollars on there. Okay. The price is right. Good detail on it. You can still read the labels. Our number is 5270, 6995, like Mr. Gray said. Yeah. And um, well, Kenny, the boss man now yeah, said, who's here today a, taking Miss Alma's place, yeah. make us an offer on this. We can't stress that enough. We you want can get a, to yeah, do we're going to sell. We're going uh, to knock them down yeah. today. We want to sell it, David. Guys, if you don't like the price on any of this make stuff, an offer. please call. call us. Yes, call The number's us. right there. Kenny's having a fit because I told you that. He's running around but here he's now. He's happy. Saying, it's a happy fit. <laughs> but anyway, it's about 11 inches tall to give you some idea of the size. You Kenny's tell by Gray's hand. No, Kenny's about, he's about six, six foot. foot tall, yeah. but that's about 11 inches tall. About five and a half inches in diameter around the bottom, I believe. At least, David. Yeah, Maybe about five six, and a half five inches six. and about seven inches wide. So yeah. if you had a place to put something of that size, that'd be a good one. Well, David, a little bit closer to your age, we think this one was made in 1924. You right. mentioned how they were in the 1880s. Those, were, those, those specific, one, specific ones were actually patented in 24. Right. They were. But nice item, David. Nice 69 item. 95 David, or an offer, please. Right. one 641 pond Make call. us an offer, guys. We they're going to make you a deal if you'll give a call. Guarantee you. <laughs> You send it today. Pack it up. Yes, We're ready to send it to you today. We want to sell it, David. What else you got? Who we got looking at us today? I want to say hello to everybody. I saw Miss Alma hey. was looking at us. We Alma, we that. miss you today. Hope you having a, a well. I'm sure that your reason you can't be having a great day, but hope you having a good day. And also Casey Hales, I see you and Cassidy on there. Good to see y'all. Saw Forrest Steve was looking in on. Forrest was looking at us too. Maybe him and the baby. Yeah, but guys, we appreciate you looking and, and get this out to your friends so they'll watch PSN Live, too. That's the best time to get the deals. What Next, got we've there? got an antique, or I'd say vintage-type oil spout, Gray. This is one of the fancy ones. It is, David. Put they the used oil to, in there and yeah, pour it you and know, let it go. Used to, they'd pour it in a bucket or something. But mm -hmm. when they came out with the cans, mm -hmm. this 
took the spillage out. That's right, Dave. Because this thing, you put the can in and you actually push down. Well, Dave, it's even got the opener. When you say about yeah. the push down, you push it on that, it actually That's makes right. a little hole in the you can. You put the can, you, the funnel in the spout, pull it, it opens the can right. and the oil starts going in. You don't have to sit there and try to get it in the, right. in the hole. But uh, these were at old service stations back. Well, the Let's full service stuff back there. then, yeah. David. Like when me and you were little boys. I know our, our kids don't know about it, but used to, you pull up to a gas station, they'd yeah. pump your gas, wash your windshield, check the air in your tires, check your oil. Here's what David you was know. talking about with that, guys. It actually went on this. This would actually pop a hole. This would push it toward the hole, like that right there. Then you pour your oil in there. But twenty four ninety five fifty two sixty six, David. But also on this, I heard make an offer. Make Call an and offer say, hey guys, is. will you take twenty dollars for this? And I bet you have your dad going can open. Kenny's back there saying sell, sell, <laughs> sell. Sell. That's right. Twenty four ninety five, David. Right. Nice item. Ready to go. We'll ship this out or store pickup. You come and talk to us. As you see, we like to talk a little bit, but. $20 would be a good offer. It would. Let's Hold get along right here. here. We got, the, we got, you know, we'd run out of time real fast around Always. here. Always. David, just time, time, Guys, time. I'm, I'm kind Can of, you read? I like this. This is a front page of the Rocky Mount Evening Telegram from April 12th, 1945. As you can see the headlines, FDR. Yeah. That was a dark day, David. Died. And it was, uh, what was it, a hemorrhage he had, brain hemorrhage? Well, it says right here on the front here he somewhere, did. cerebral I'm, hemorrhage. And I believe he was in his sleep. I did hear that. Cerebral I was not there. Hemorrhage. <laughs> hemorrhage. <laughs> I wasn't around then, right. but yeah, I'm, I'm not getting my, my words all right. Now, Dave, that is the actual paper, like when it's you the read it. It's the front page, <laughs> along with the fold over to the back page. We can look at the, the color on it, David, and Let's tell how old it is. Let's go over the camera, too. Ethan's looking for something to do. Yeah, I'll give him a shot there. It's actually got some it's pictures of it. It's actually the headline page only, but it does have the, it is. the whole double fold there. Um, April 12, 1945. The articles on that front page include the death of the president, but also the fact that Harry Truman took over yep, right there. that day. Yeah, he took over as president of the United States. And as you notice on the bottom, we were still, we were still doing a little bit of fighting at that we're time. We were still at war, David, that's right. We were still fighting, and Harry Truman took over at a very, very, you know, critical time during the war. Oh, yeah. But FDR, David, and real famous, he had, he had some famous cousins, David. We were talking about yeah, Teddy Roosevelt. There was a lot of We yeah, saw where he was related there. to 11 different presidents. That's what right, we looked right. up earlier. Oh, yeah. Sounds like the Kennedys, doesn't But, it? David, 995, <laughs> 5279, a little bit of history there, the actual paper. You can look at it and tell us. Kind of brittle me touching. I'm not going to crank right. up too much. I notice there's only one tear, and it's right there on the, there's on one the, in the front middle. page. But, guys, you could take that, mat nice it, item. frame it. It's only nine ninety five. Everybody's budget, David. Item number fifty two seventy nine, and as we said, call and make an offer. Nine ninety five. But yeah, we, we can't will stress listen. that enough. And guys, call us in too. We want to buy your stuff. If you've got something laying around like that, give us a call. That's right. These old items are, you know, they're kind of hard to locate. Yeah. What you got next, David? Next, we got a spotting scope from the U.S. Navy, World War Two. I saw it, and I took and the cap thing, off earlier, David. It, it works. works. Yes, sir. Yeah. Guys, this is a large, solid brass spotting scope from World War II. It's got some weight to it. Navy scope, as Gray says about everything, got it's a got a little to weight it. to it there. They're good, handmade American product. Yeah. But it's solid brass. Get we'll a get a shot good of close of that. I'm going to take um, that cap off, David. Put it right here. See if you can see Ethan over there. I see Ethan thing. over there. Let's get a shot of it on camera, too. There we Look go. There, guys. There's the little Sorry. cap on it. David was looking at it earlier, couldn't see anything. And as I noticed, so I, told I him thought the cap somebody may have painted it and messed it up, but actually the color was black. That's right. One forty nine ninety five. Black. That's probably the original paint. Um, well, David, I saw good. too. It was a flat black. That way, when you were looking at the enemy, it would not pick up. They would not see a That's flash. Right. They wouldn't see Because you'd see brass. a flash if you had the brass, especially when brass was new. If you were looking at the enemy, they would dial in on you. So they actually put a flat black finish on it where you would not be spotted spotting on them. Right. And there's they started candy. making those in the early early 1900s. They were probably used during World War I also, but the information we've got on this one is it was a World War II era. Right. Good Spotting camera scope. work there by Ethan. It shows how long Item that thing number is, David. 
5290. That's right. At 149, U.S. Navy World War II spotting scope. For you military buffs, that's, that's right. a good one for you. Well, guys, we can't say that enough. 1-844-641-PON. Give us a call. Make an offer on that item, David. I tell you, people, we're going to sell this stuff. And next year, we got a Nazi that's M35 old World War II helmet. helmet. Guys, this is the, an original top cover for the Nazi M35 helmets. As y'all know, that distinct look Very famous. put a lot of fear in a lot of people for a long time. They started using this thing in 1919, mm -hmm. I think. In the early 1900s, they started using this design helmet. And to this very day, the style of this helmet is the same. That's right. The M35 has never been changed in its in its shape. It, it still, when you see it, you know it's a German helmet. That's right. And heavy, David. Yeah, it's great yes. Things Made of some real stuff. Shot. Oh yeah, real stuff. 199.95, 52.84s. Our item number. Yeah. Guys, if you're not a military buff, I see a lot of guys that ride motorcycles, David, that would love to have one of these. It makes them look a little that's tougher. That's right. They but can that's make very a custom popular. motorcycle oh, helmet yeah. out of that. That's true. One ninety nine ninety five, David. Make an offer on this stuff, guys. Call in and say, hey, will you take this? You're going to be amazing what you're going to hear because Kenny says sell I think, it. I think Kenny just wants to talk to somebody on the phone this morning. Well, somebody will sell it. Guys, make us an offer on anything you see here. Like I said, for the men, stay around. Got some very unique belt buckles coming up. And sound up shopping's coming up too. Sound shopping's coming up right now with Kenny and Gray. Uh, they'll be on in about, what, one minute? Maybe a minute. David. Maybe a minute. Stick around. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much.